Hello YouTubers and welcome to another the beer review with me here the Master of Puppets. Today I'm carrying on with the Christmas beers, the 24 days of Christmas beers. <laughs> and as you see it all of a sudden turned a little more Christmassy in here with this little tr Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, I actually got it from my mom because she thought it was sad that I didn't have any ornaments in the apartment at all. But it will get even worse when we get closer to the actual date. But today guys we're going to be looking at um, another Nordic Brewing Company beer, and this one is a Christmas beer. This is a Nordic Brewing Dark Christmas Doppelbuck. There's it. There it is. It says here on the back, and it, yeah, it's a dry hopped dark Doppelbuck or dry hopped Doppelbuck on 7.6% alcohol. It says here on the back, Christmas was the best time for the Danish Vikings. During this festive holiday or during these times, they could eat and drink. And when the wounds were about to, or, or when they had to get their wounds healed, uh, or when they had to heal their wounds, they'd be drinking this dry hop double buck. Or this dry hop double buck would be in their mugs, <laughs> and their heads would be placed in the bosom of a lovely woman. Uh, if you don't believe this, then try it yourself. <laughs> All I can say now, I guess, is. Uh, Merry Christmas. So that, this is pretty cool. As you know, it's originally a pagan tradition Christmas. So let's get this one cracked open. Um, this is the last beer. Wow, oh, that's a lot of carbonation for like a, a lager. But this is the last beer I have left from a Nordic brewery. But I know he, there's gonna be, he's gonna be making his prize winning smoked beer. Uh, it's a homebrew beer that won some prizes. And I think he's gonna brew that here in December, towards the end of December. So that's probably gonna be the next beer released. Mm. Definitely smells like a double block. So there it is. Quite dark. Like a really dark maroon red or caramel color. I can see there's some guts in there and all. I'm glad it's so dark because then it probably looked like muddy water. But one finger almost of a fizzy tan hand. Let's take out the aroma. The dry hopping is very subtle. <laughs> um, I mean, it smells more or less like a double block. I'm getting spicy rye notes. And I do get some, some generic hop aroma, some grassy green leaf hop. But mostly I'm getting like caramel, toffee, sweet maltiness, a little bit of dark fruit. It's not as intense as uh, Knut and Storm or Knut the Great. It's more mellow. It feels Christmassy though. You get some kind of spice notes, some kind of spicy rye, caramel figs, raisins, almost like that raisin bread kind of thing. It smells pretty good. It's good to taste. Cheers, guys. Mmm, that's pretty tasty. You definitely get a kick, a good kick of bitterness compared to your average double buck. Even though it's dry hop, I feel like it's more bitter, but I feel like there's also more roasted malt in here. Because I get like a toasty, roasty kind of malty flavor. Definitely a lot of toasted nuts. <laughs> Caramel, toffee. Not as much dark fruits in the flavor eh, as in the aroma. There is some, like a generic dark fruit, but it's just a ton of those kind of sweet, caramelly, toffee, malty flavors. It's pretty nice. Again, the dry hopping is more present in the sense of a kind of a green leaf, generic hop flavor. It isn't too forward. The alcohol isn't traceable. It's, it feels a little hot without being boozy or anything, but you get some heat when you swallow it. I definitely prefer the Imperial Stout, but this is kind of a fun beer to try as well. Uh, but I'm looking forward to that smoked beer because, as you guys know, I love myself some smoked beers. But yeah, that's about it. The nutty flavors, the kind of spicy rye, all that stuff. Pretty good stuff. So, uh, rating wise for the Nordic Brewing Company's Dark Christmas Doppelbock, I'm gonna go straight up 80. It's nice, but like the flavors are a little kind of dull for me. They're not as in your face as the ones in Coot and Stowell was or Coot the Great. But still a really nice taste. I mean, 80 is still pretty damn great. Uh, still a really nice tasty double buck. Not really according to tradition, because you get that bittery hot flavor and more of the roasty, kind of toasty flavors, toasted bread almost. Um, but still quite nice. I'm sure uh, this is a beer a lot of people, you guys are going to love, especially if you enter the more, more kind of slightly traditional Christmas beers, but with a little bit of a twist. So guys, definitely let me know what you think of the dark Christmas double buck from Nordic Brewing if you've had it. Thanks a bunch to Tobias. The man behind this thing for sending this one out. And uh, guys, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and also Tumblr. And I'm gonna say cheers. I don't see you guys in another video.